Do you want to know how we're able to travel for two weeks with this little carry-on? Well, stay tuned because today we're going to give you some tips so you as well can learn about packing for travel light. Hi everyone, I'm Rick. And I'm Andrea. And today we will give you our tips for packing light for your next trip. But first, if you like travel with the video and you want to support the channel, now it's a great time to hit the subscribe button down below so you will never miss any future videos. And I'll be very happy. Thank you. <laughs> so today we are packing for our next adventure, a 14 days cruise from Italy to the Canary Island. And this is what I'm packing. And this is what I'm packing. We love to travel with carry-ons as much as we can to avoid the long waits at the airport. Also, when we take the train, carry-ons are much easier to bring with us. And when we cruise, traveling with just a carry-on saves us a ton of time when boarding and disembarking. We are the first one at the, the pool. And the first ones in our cabin as well. Absolutely. So, what are our secrets for packing light for travel? Here we go. First, if you are taking a flight and you are planning on checking your bag, there are some items that you, will, you must put in your carry-on and never put in your check bag. Yeah, that's for sure. And these items are the following. Your passport and all your documents. All your reservations and confirmations. Your medications. Your contact lens, your contact solution, and a spare pair of glasses if you wear them. All your electronics with all the chargers. A travel size toothbrush and toothpaste. If you have the room, you should also pack a complete change of clothes in your carry-on. Yeah, that's great advice. Thank you. It is not uncommon to hear from that suitcases get lost, especially if you are taking a flight with a lot of connections. Mm -hmm. For this reason, the items we just listed should always be with you at all times and never in your, in your check bag. That's right. Now, what should you pack in your checked bag? Well, the first thing you want to consider is the destination. Uh, for example, are you visiting a warm destination, a cold destination, or a place that you might need to dress up? These are really important questions that you have to ask yourself beforehand when you decide on what to pack. Our first tip is to bring clothes that go well together, kind of like these shirts. Mm -hmm. And shirts and pants and sweaters that all look good when you mix and match them together as well. By doing this, you can change into a different shirt or a sweater, and you'll have a completely new look. This way, you won't have to pack too many sets of clothes. When traveling to a warm destination, it is always easier to pack flight. But because of this, it's also easier to overpack. Remember, if you are spending most of the time at the beach, you won't need too many pants or skirts. That's true. Absolutely. L lots of shorts. Lots of shirts. If you're traveling to a colder destination, think in layers. You can bring less items if you do that. If you wear several layers, you probably won't need to bring a bulky jacket, and that saves a lot of room. Yeah, you can take up, take up the whole bag. Absolutely. And traveling to a place that might require a dress code, well, you can get away with one dressy outfit if you change the accessories. For women, for example, you can use a scarf or a shawl, or you can even have different jewelry to give you a completely different outfit. And for men, well, bringing a couple of different ties or even a bow tie will do the trick. When packing shoes, bring a pair of comfortable shoes that you can use for traveling or for when exploring a city. A pair of dresser of shoes for dinners, events, formal events, and lastly, one pair of flip-flops to go to the pool, to the beach, or to the spa. 
And we know where you are. Uh, I, I, and I'm always in my flip-flops, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now, another great way to save space is to do laundry anytime you can, or anytime that's possible. And hotels usually have laundry facilities. Um, and on a cruise, they usually offer laundry service, but sometimes they have a laundry mat, and if they do, it'll do the trick. Don't forget to pack a plug converter if you are traveling overseas. Mm -hmm. We love this one that also has four USB ports to charge all of our phones and tablets and cameras. All at the same time. All at the same time. And if you're taking medications, remember to bring enough supply for your trip, plus at least a few extra days in case you lose some or encounter a delay. Also, remember to bring a prescription with you. That way you can get a refill if you need at a local pharmacy. Some precautions should also be taken for contact lenses and contact lens solutions. If you're traveling to a beach destination, we always bring some sunscreen with us. In fact, sometimes it is not easier to find sunscreen in some countries. Mm -hmm. For example, when we went to Asia, we were not able to find any sunscreen until we hit the resort town in Thailand. For that reason, we were forced to buy sunscreen at the gift shop on the cruise ship <laughs> at the stupid price. <laughs> yeah, Lesson, lesson learned. learned. Exactly. And for the beach, we always bring these beautiful microfiber beach towels that pack very small and light. They're also perfect to lounge on a beach chair. Also, a must-have for your trip are these bokeh clips. These prevent the towels from flying away, and they're also a great way to hold your spot by the pool. We love them, and we have them all the time. Mm. Another item that we always bring with us is a foldable backpack. This little backpack, when folded, takes very, very little room, and it's really handy to go to a beach or explore a city. Well, guys, these are our tips for packing for a trip the light way. Tomorrow, we leave for our cruise, so stay tuned, because soon we're going to be giving you guys a complete review of our trip. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.